begin tonight with a health alert. The Center for Disease Control has reported that 17 states have had cases of measles. That's including Illinois. Yes, yeah, Chicago reported eight cases of confirmed measles, but the CDC estimates around 100 people have been exposed to the virus. Now, our Sandra Chapman spoke with local medical professionals. Sandra, what did they say about the uptick in cases? Rebecca Thomas, healthcare providers are expressing caution with a surge in measles. Now, whether vaccinated or not, it's a disease people need to be on high alert for. If they are fully vaccinated, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to isolate or anything um, after an exposure. Although cases of measles are growing, it's not as quick of a spread as COVID-19 was. People who are vaccinated with measles, mumps, and rubella immunization aren't at a high risk. But people who aren't vaccinated should be put on notice. If there are 10 people in the room and they're not vaccinated and a person with measles comes into that room, nine out of 10 of those people will get the measles. That's how contagious it is. The illness is an airborne virus. If an individual with measles coughs, sneezes, or even talks in a room, the virus will stay present for up to two hours, even if the carrier has left. Measles can be dangerous and life-threatening, especially for babies and young children. So it's critical for everyone who is eligible to be fully vaccinated to best prevent the spread of disease. At this time, no Carl Health facility has patients experiencing symptoms of measles. We work closely with the public health department to mitigate any suspected and slash or confirmed cases and reduce further community impact. One doctor at OSF calling measles the misery disease. Some severe upper respiratory symptoms, including uh, pink eye, very severe congestion, runny nose, headache, uh, coughing, very bad cough. Uh, kind of symptoms starts first. Bakir says those symptoms start two to four days after exposure. Then a rash will start to form on an infected person's head and move down their body. The McLean County Health Department says they are always ready to answer questions about the MMR vaccine. Although COVID has brought on some negative aspects to vaccines, but people are now asking really, really good questions. If anyone comes to me with happy thoughts, unhappy thoughts, we're here to talk about it. Um, that's what our role is here in public health. Healthcare professionals say if you are experiencing symptoms of measles, call your doctor prior to going to their office so they can make arrangements and minimize exposure to other patients. Thomas.